every obstacle you faced. I think you couldn't overcome it. Creating an immortal child has long been outlawed and is met with the severest form of punishment death. We are fascinated by vampires and this fascination is not a new phenomena. Throughout the history, these blood-sucking creatures have been there in literature and folklore. As cinema evolved, a lot of pictures depicting vampires have been made and some of these movies are quite popular after years of release. But there is one vampire-based series which excels in popularity and financial success. That's why the film Gossips have brought to you this video in which we are going to tell you everything about this film series. And this series is one of the kinds and most popular, The Twilight Saga. So buckle up and let's begin. The Volturi are the closest thing my world has to royalty. They enforce the law. Vampires have laws. Consisting of five parts, this series follows a specific storyline from a very first to the last film. For those who don't know the complete storyline, let us give you a quick insight. Released in 2008, the first chapter revolves around the two main characters of this series, Bella Swan and Edward Killam. Bella, a shy and reserved girl, moved to a new town. Upon her first day in high school, she fell in love with Edward, who is in fact a 108 years old vampire. She becomes suspicious about Edward's superhuman abilities and later, Edward told her about his true identity and Bella befriended Edward's siblings. In a turn of events, another rogue vampire, James, became obsessed with her and started to hunt her. The first chapter ends after Bella is saved by Edward, who kills James with help of his siblings. In the second part, Edward and his family leave town and this action sent Bella into a deep depression. You just don't belong in my world, Bella. I belong with you. This is the last time you'll ever see me. Please just promise me you won't do anything reckless. Edward left her because he wanted to save her from being a vampire. Unaware of his feelings, Bella remained in depression and anxiety and becomes self-destructive. During this time, she and her childhood friend Jacob became closer. Unknown to her, Jacob is a shapeshifter who can turn into a giant wolf. Jacob and his brother saved Bella from a rogue vampire and killed him. After this attack, Bella discovers the truth about Jacob and his family. The film ends when Edward came back to his old home and reunites with Bella. I know what he did to you, but Bella, I would never ever do that. In the third part, vampires and wolves ally to kill Victoria, the lover of James. She wanted to avenge his lover's death by killing Bella but she is defeated and killed at the hands of Edward. Finally, Edward proposed to Bella and she accepted it. In the fourth film, they both got married but Bella almost died during giving birth to her daughter. Edward saved her life by turning her into a vampire at the last minute. The fifth and the last chapter of this series based on a battle between two factions of vampires. On one side, Edward and his family along with their friends are trying to protect Ransme daughter of Bella and Edward. On the other side is Waltry, a group of high-profile vampires who wanted to kill Ransme because they considered her a threat. The series ends with a happy ending after the battle was avoided. My time as a human was over, but I never felt more alive. I thought we would be safe forever. Based on the novel written by Stephanie Meyer, the first movie was optioned by MTV Films in 2004. MTV Films, which is a subsidiary of Paramount Pictures, developed a script for the first movie of this series. Stephanie was also interested in developing a film, but she rejected the first script. Later, she told that it was very different from the novel. So, Stephanie refused to sell the rights of her novels to develop any movie. In 2007, Summit Entertainments acquired the rights to the novel on the guarantee that it would be close to the source material. After this, Katrin Hardwick joined the project as a director in the same year. Melissa Rosenberg was selected to develop a script with clothes resembling to the novels. She completed the script on October 2007 and after its approval, the process of casting was started. Now let's discuss the casting. As the process of casting started, the first actress which was selected was Kristen Stewart. 
the director, Catherine Hardwick met Christian on the set of Adventureland 2009 and she was impressed by her beauty and innocence. Christian was selected after a short screen test. For the character of Edward Cullen, Henry Cavill was the first choice, but after seeing the audition tape of Robert Pattinson, the role was given to him. Taylor Lautner was given the role of Jacob Black because his psyche and persona were close to the character's depiction. Other supporting actors were selected after a long process of audition and screen testing. Jacob, what are you doing? I'm here to warn you. Just leave now. Despite its popularity, the critics gave a generally negative reviews about its series. Receiving two stars out of five, many film magazines called this series an overrated melodrama. Lack of action in the first two parts was criticized by many people. The acting, pace of the story, and lack of enthusiasm in certain scenes are negative points of the Twilight franchise. Overall, it received negative reviews and critics labeled it as slow, joyless, and loaded with unnecessary melodrama. Now let's discuss box office performance. It is the only vampire-based series that broke many records at the box office. The first part was a huge success and ended up earning $407 million against a budget of $37 million. After seeing the success of first film, the second film was released in 2009, which became a huge commercial success. Every part of this franchise was a commercial success at the box office. The whole series generated an estimate revenue of $3.3 billion against a collective production budget of $401 million. That's why it is ranked in number 18 spot in the list of highest grossing film series. What is it out? The Voltori. They're coming for us. If enough people knew the truth, maybe we could convince the Voltori to listen. Which character is your favorite one from the Twilight Saga and why? Tell us your opinion about this series and if you like it or dislike it, then explain in comment section. We hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe our channel, The Film Gossip for more amazing content like this.